then welcome into my channel. I'm in today because I had a wee request from a new subscriber so thank you very much for that. If I could do a tutorial on how I made my bottle cap charms. Now this is the only packet I've got left for last year and this is a Halloween set that I had for last year. So I'm going to get on and I'll just show you how I, I done the bottle charms. It's up to you how you package them. Right, you can get various different bottle charms, eh, bottle caps. If you just put into your buying site, whether it be eBay, Ali, Wish, whatever, wherever you get them, even Google, just Google in bottle caps and you'll see the ones, you can get regular ones, normal ones, for eh, for your homebrew, you know, you get them on the sites as well. Lakeland sell them for homebrew. But if you get the ones with the home brew, which is a normal bottle cap, it will come and it will be, sorry my thumb is really bad and it's driving me insane. So there'll be a, a plastic liner on the inside there and all you do is you get your pliers and you peel it off. Now you can leave it with the end sticking up like that, but if you have a cricket, you know the cuttle bug or the big shot or something like that, you can put it between your plates, run it through and squash it down. So you can squash squash down these jaggy edges. But see, to be honest, buy the ones that are ready done because they're cheap as chips. Um, I bought these last year and I done a video last year that had pricing and things on it. But honestly, they really were quite cheap. I think they worked out about a penny or two each. Anyway, that's a rundown in them. Uh, last year I got loads and loads of silver ones. See, I can't even pick things up with my thumb. It's driving me nuts. Just the plain coloured ones. And then I ordered a set that were coloured ones. And I had blue, white, red and green, which I put by and used for Christmas. And I had, also used green for Halloween, purple, orange and yellow that I put by for Halloween. And black, sorry. I had black as well. So I used a white and a black on this one just because it went to the topper that I was wanting to use. Right, so that covers your bottle caps, okay? The next thing is the papers that you put in them. Now, you can buy them, but honestly, what? don't go to that expense. Go on to Pinterest and put in um, bottle cap images and it will bring you up hundreds and there's loads and loads and loads of them that are free. So get on there, get some, print them out and they'll be free for you, okay? They should be already sized. Just be careful what site you go to because... And even if... I know some people try and steal the images off of Pinterest and things like that. And they don't print out to the proper size. These were sized. These were ones that were made for bottle art. Okay. The size of your image is an inch. The size of your aperture in this is an inch, which is 25 mil in old money or new money, whatever. Um, so yeah, as you can see, they're quite good, those ones there. The other thing that you need is epoxy resin stickers. Now, again, I've got two different loads here. Move this to the side here. These are one mil epoxy resin stickers and they are two different kinds. I don't think you can see it there. So let me see if I can lift up this piece of paper and it will probably show you. You can see there, those ones there are glittery. The glitter's encapsulated in it and it's a gold glitter and those one there are just plain. Okay, you can get them with silver glitter, you can get them with iridescent glitter. I dare say you can get them all different ones now, but this is the ones that I've got, this is the ones that I used, and they done a treat. Okay, last thing you'll need is a one inch punch, a one inch hole punch. Yes, you can cut it freehand if you don't have a hole punch, a hole punch just makes a nice job. Right, I think I'm going to use one of these orange ones. For this actually I think that might be too much let me see I think I might just use a silver one right I have a silver one here um, 
we'll go for this pumpkin down the bottom. You just get your image, put your punch over the top, centre it out. I'm going to hold it there and then use this hand to punch it. Okay, there it's there. Right, set that to the side. Now you can stick them in various different ways, right? I use um, crystal lacquer, right? It's crystal lacquer that's in this wee pot. I know it says Dovecraft, but I run out of Dovecraft. And it's crystal lacquer that's in it. And it's just me that uses it, so I know that it's know what's in it. But the crystal lacquer is really good. Excuse the palm grip, but... Right, you just need a wee squiggle round about. Enough to stick your thing, your image. When I put it in, I give it a wee wiggle, a wee squiggle round about. And press it down quite firmly because that spread, that gets the glue down. And it takes out any air bubbles that are in the back of it. Okay. Right, now this is where some people vary. Some people change here. Some people put epoxy resin, no epoxy resin, sorry, crystal lacquer. Some people use epoxy resin actually and just fill the top with epoxy resin if they don't have the stickers. That's a choice, you can do that. I'll show you, there's the one there that I use if I'm doing it that way. But that takes time. You need to leave that to dry. Now you can either put your crystal lacquers on here and leave as is to dry. You can put crystal lacquers on and then put a sticker on the top or you can just put your sticker on the top. I think I might use one of these wee glittery dudes. And I'm quite sure I put crystal lacquers on it. So that's what I'm going to do. And as you can see the crystal lacquer gives it a wee bit of a shine as well. Right, try and not get your fingerprints all over your sticker and the inside. And see when I'm putting it down, I'm putting it down at one side and then I'm kind of bending it in, right? So that as I'm putting it down, I'm getting out any air bubbles that are in the inside. See that? And see how you get a blob of the glue up to the one side? That's it, just pushing everything out that you don't need. There you are, that's it away. It doesn't waste your sticker or anything like that. Get it away quickly. And there you go. That's it. That's as hard as it gets. Now you can leave them like that. You can put a sticky pad on the back. You can put magnets on the back. I've got different magnets here. I use these ones. These are neodymium. Rare earth magnets. And they're really, really strong. They are really strong. This is like the ones you get with your stamping platforms, etc. I think those ones were... And they were the 12 mil, let me tell you. Yes, that size there's 12 mil. But I've got other ones here. Those ones there, I think they're 8 mil. Let me see and I'll tell you. Yeah, they're 8 mil. And those ones there were from the pound shop and they are 10 mil. The ones from the pound shop are not really very strong. You need to be careful what side you put them on and things like that. But because of the main metal that it's made from, see, the magnets, obviously you would stick it on with something, but they really are quite strong, these wee earth magnets. You would put your crystal lacquer on the back of your E6000 and put your magnet on it. Okay? That's if you want to use it as a magnet. You might not want to. The other thing that you can do as well is, and I'll show you on a spare one here that I've not decorated yet, because you're better to do this before you decorate. You can put a hole in them and you can put jump rings at the top and the bottom. Now, I've done that last year as well. The hole at the top, you put a jump ring through and then you put another jump ring on and that gives you the dangle. But at the bottom, I put a jump ring, another jump ring, and then whatever I was dangling from it, so whether it had been sets of beads 
or um, another charm, a skull, pumpkin, whatever. I was dangling from it. That's what I done. That's how I done it. And you don't want the big hole. You want the wee on the crocodile. It says centimeters and oh yeah, inches. So I use the wee one, and it's really as easy to punch through. What you're looking to do is put your hole punch just in the inside rim, not on there because it's too difficult and sometimes it can break through. I tend to go on the inside rim. I don't know another way to show you this. Can you see, can you see the kind of angle that it's sitting at? There's the way it's sitting. I'm going to have to use my other hand to squeeze it. And with these crocodiles, it's, it's brilliant. It's super quick. And there you are, it puts the hole in it. Can you see that there? It puts the wee hole in the bottom. And you put your jump rings, whatever, or these key ring bits, you can put them on it. And make yourself a key ring. There's loads of different ways you can use these. And as I said, they're super quick, super easy. And really effective. So there you are. That would be a key ring if you wanted to do it that way. So, I hope you've enjoyed that wee tutorial, tutorial sorry, and how i done my bottle cap charms. As I say, there's other people do them different ways, but that's the way I do them. And I find that works for me best. So, if you have any questions... Drop me a wee line, I'll do my best to answer them for you. Um, if you like this wee video, please give me a like and subscribe and a thumbs up. Tell your friends where I am and share some love. Happy crafting and I hope to see you all again next time. Bye.